Hey guys, welcome back to yet another video. Now in this video, we're gonna learn how to use the push pull tool and finally create some 3D in our scene. So to activate the push pull tool, you can go to our main toolbar here, a drawing toolbar and click on the push tool or you can press P on your keyboard to activate the push pull tool. So now I'm gonna zoom in and I'm gonna start exporting these boxes up. So you can just simply click, left click and release and then start dragging it on top. And now you can give a height so I'm going to give a height of say 15 feet and then press enter. You can also simply click release and click again to give a height based on your discretion. Or you could give it with a certain height in mind. So let's say 20 feet for this grass lawn, which is, seems pretty tall. That's two floors. 10 feet is each floor for a building typically in India. And I'm sure in most other countries as well. And now if I click here, release my mouse button you can see that I can only drag it till here so the offset is limited to this height but once I click here again I can drag it on top so there are some quirks in push pulling but it's a fun tool and you can create some really cool models using the push pull tool now let's say you're dragging this face and you gave the wrong measurement so I'm going to give in 10 feet and then I realized I need to give only 5 feet so now before you click anywhere else, now if you want to overwrite the previous value, all you need to do is type in the value again, which is 5 feet, and then press enter. So it overwrites the previous value of 10 feet, and then you have your model at 5 feet. And if you again accidentally click on the wrong face, and you don't want to push this, either click on the select tool, or you can also press the escape tool. So that's a quick video into using the push tool and I've created something abstract and awesome in SketchUp. I hope you created the same. Don't try to be a perfectionist right off the bat. Play around with the tools, get used to it and then slowly perfection comes as you keep getting better. So that was a quick look into the basic tools and now in the next video we're going to learn how to create our first room in SketchUp and decorate our room. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers.